What's up guys, it's Brad from Let Architect here. In this video, I'm going to be breaking down the fourth new scene setup that we created for and rendered for our updated City Builder 3D asset-based add-on trailer. This is the fourth of seven scene and compositing breakdowns, so I hope you enjoy them. Anyways guys, let's get started. Here we are inside of Blender. Super simple setup for this scene. As you can see on the right side here, we have our top view from our camera. And if we zoom in to the scene, all we have here is a bunch of our new Soviet City Builder 3D large and medium sized assets here. We've just imported a few of them into our scene using our City Builder 3D tab here. We've just imported them and just kind of placed them and varied their size and distribution to create kind of an interesting city shot. For our camera in this specific shot, we didn't use the cable cam cinema movement rig we just used a basic camera inside a blender and we've just animated it on the x-axis to track over the city and create this nice aerial flyover for our world environment setup we have two suns here side lighting our environment as you can see here if we click on one of them and go to the light tab we've warmed up the color of this light a little bit to give that warm sunlight feel and then we've increased the strength to two and we've added a second sun here just to create some more shape and rays hitting the buildings in different areas and in addition to our sun lamps here, we've also just added our basic sky texture to our world here to create that ambient lighting for our scene. Finally, to create some more realistic environmental reflections since we didn't use an HDRI in our world settings, I've just imported a few images of cities here. And this is so we can just kind of emit light through an image of a city to get a little bit more realistic reflections while also controlling where the light is coming from and provide the city with a little bit more shape. So we've just added these two planes here to create a little bit more environment lighting. Of course, you can also use an HDRI in your world settings instead of adding the sky, which would give you a great result as well. But I think it's nice to control where the emission of that environment is coming from to have a little bit more control of that environment around the city. And finally, in addition to placing these large and medium sized assets on our ground plane here, we've also added a particle system to the ground plane here, distributing these two smaller assets that are grouped together across the ground in our scene here. So I'll go ahead and select the ground plane here and show you guys that really quick under the particle setting here as you can see we've distributed 2100 particles across the plane here and if we go ahead and enable it in our view here you can see that we have a whole bunch of these uh, assets just kind of duplicated around our main larger assets in our scene and that's just going to kind of fill in the spaces and give a much more detailed city for our final result once we've placed our larger assets a little bit more specifically in our scene I'll go ahead and disable the particle settings for now since it slows down the viewport a little bit but uh, that's essentially it for our scene setup here as usual we've exported a mist pass as well as a combined beauty pass here and again as I've shown in the previous videos under the compositing tab to export those passes separately we just have the beauty pass going to the composite which will uh, be exported through the output tab here and uh, then we have our mist pass going to a separate file output where we can choose where all those different files are saved as usual exporting in OpenEXR file format with an alpha channel 1080p resolution with 40 samples for this specific project anyways guys let's get into after effects and look at the compositing breakdown as well all right guys here we are inside of after effects i'll go ahead and play through the final composite here and then go through a few of the layers that we used to composite our final shot together go ahead and just play through it here really quick and as you can see here not too much added just a basic mist pass and of course those atmospheres that you've seen if you watch some of our previous breakdowns as well so i'll go ahead and first go to the bottom layer that we added here the first and primary layer that we added was of course the beauty pass of our city scene as you can see here the uh, duplicated buildings on the particle system below our larger soviet buildings here placed more specifically in our scene then we have of course added our mist pass on top of that just to create that mist in the lower portion of the city and create that depth and I've also added a curves effect to this mist pass as well just to kind of bring it down a little bit and then under the opacity settings of the mist pass as well we've also decreased the opacity from 100 all the way down to 31 percent and as you can see here like on our previous videos we can change the opacity to change the amount of mist that we add to our environment here fairly easily and create that depth after the mist pass was added then we added a whole bunch of different atmospheres that we've animated from top to bottom here as you can see if we turn them all on select them here it's just a basic live action atmosphere that we've uh, masked a certain portion of and then I've just feathered that mask to uh, create a little bit softer of an edge for that atmosphere and uh, as you can see here if we play through it 
it's just animated straight down and we've just done that a whole bunch of different times in different areas as you can see here literally just duplicating the same atmosphere and placing it in different parts of our scene to create that next layer of depth to sell the shot a little bit more anyways finally we have the adjustment layer here on the adjustment layer we've just used lumetri color to add some color correction to our scene again using the fujifilm 250d look by adobe and uh, playing around with the curve settings as well to increase the contrast and give it a little bit more depth and a cinematic feel for the final shot anyways guys that's it for part four of our soviet asset breakdowns for our city builder 3d asset based add-on trailer i hope you enjoy these short breakdowns and the new city builder 3d assets and i'll see you guys next time